So the physiotherapists have a big role in antenatal education. Early in your pregnancy, we like to give you advice about how to keep fit and well and healthy during your pregnancy. So that would be all the exercise guidelines. We also give advice about how to manage your changing posture and your changing shape and what exercises and stretches and core work you can do to keep your body as fit and healthy during pregnancy and help to reduce back pain. We spend some time teaching you how to move well, sit well, keep your posture and how to pace your activities during your pregnancy so that you continue to be as pain free as you can during your pregnancy. We put a large focus on pelvic floor exercises. There is a lot of evidence that if you do your pelvic floor exercises during pregnancy, it will reduce the risk of urinary incontinence at late pregnancy and after the pregnancy. It's much easier to learn your pelvic floor exercises during pregnancy and to continue them after pregnancy if you're already well used to practicing them. As second antenatal classes, we look at preparation for labor physically, physically and how you can manage these stages of first stage of labor. We advise that you get a gym ball and practice the exercises, rubbing and rocking and positions for the second stage of labor. All of this can be found on our videos of our antenatal classes in the, in the physiotherapy section of the Rotonda website. We also advise about postnatal recovery, about how to manage in the early days um, doing your pelvic floor exercises, how to manage if you've had a section, and how to gradually return to normal after, after your delivery. We also give advice about managing your baby, um, about tummy time and the importance of tummy time and positioning for feeding so that you keep yourself safe while you're caring for your baby and help to reduce back pain, upper back pain, um, good positions for breastfeeding and things like that for your postnatal recovery. You should do your pelvic floor exercises during your pregnancy and after your pregnancy. So again, after the delivery, you may need to take a few days to let the muscle recover as the, you can use very gentle exercises um, to help the muscles reduce any swelling or pain. But once you're pain free, you can start your pelvic floor exercises, gradually building them up, increasing the strength and the endurance of your pelvic floor muscles, squeezing before you cough or sneeze. And no, you're not lost them for, for good once you've had your baby. Um, certainly the pelvic floor muscle exercises will help recovery. You can continue with exercises in pregnancy if you have pelvic girdle pain, but you may need to modify them or you may need to add specific exercises for pelvic girdle pain. Most people enjoy walking as their exercise and this is probably the, one of the most challenging exercises if you have pelvic girdle pain. So if you have pelvic girdle pain, you can look at the Rotonda website under the physiotherapy department. and We have a series of exercises giving you advice, um, guidelines, of, exercises specifically for pelvic girdle pain and you can do those with us as you watch the videos so they will give you specific guidelines of exercises with pelvic girdle pain. Swimming is another great exercise you can do with pelvic girdle pain because the water supports the weight of you and your baby. So no, gestational diabetes is one of the conditions in pregnancy that we strongly advise you to exercise. The reason for that is that when you exercise, the muscles burn up some of the blood glucose that's circulating in your body. And as a result of that, they prevent you storing that as fat. So it's a really good idea to exercise in pregnancy uh, when you have gestational diabetes. If you find that generally exercising is difficult for you, then it's a good idea to sit on a chair watching your TV in the evening and use light weights with your arms or with your legs so that you're still burning up the, the blood glucose, but you're not stressing your body by doing any other forms of exercise. So we would recommend strongly that you attend a pregnancy yoga class because the benefits of pregnancy yoga are that you strengthen your body and you stretch, but we wouldn't recommend a particular one class. 